excretion in plants. Plants face less problems of excretion compared to animals. In fact, the main reason why this is so is that organisms such as plants manufacture their own food. And hence, because of this, they have less excretory products compared to animals. In fact, for this reason, plants have not evolved complex organs of excretion for the following reasons. One, since they make their own food, they make just the right type of food and amount of food, hence they rarely accumulate in excess that will require elimination. And like animals that consume already manufactured food, part of which is not required and so must be eliminated. The second reason why plants do not have a serious problem of excretion is that the food manufactured and assimilated by these plants produce very little toxic wastes such as the nitrogenous waste like ammonia. In animals, since they consume already made food, in the process of processing this food, they produce toxic waste like ammonia which must be eliminated very quickly. A third reason is that plants are able to recycle most of their metabolic waste such as carbon dioxide and water from respiration. Carbon dioxide and water from respiration is recycled and reused in photosynthesis while oxygen from photosynthesis is recycled and reused in respiration. Fourth reason, plants are less active because since they make their own food, they don't have to move around looking for food. So they're less active, hence they have a lower rate of metabolism and hence lower rate of waste production. Five, most of the waste products of plants are gases, which easily diffuse out of their bodies through stomata and lenticels. So if it is, for example, carbon four oxide or oxygen, these are gases in nature and they just diffuse out through the stomata and even the lenticels in the stem. So they do not need elaborate structures or organs of excretion. And six, some plants are able to store wastes in toxic, in non-toxic form, brother. That is, plants are able to store waste products in non-toxic forms in body parts, which later drop off. For example, leaves. Plants will produce waste products, then store them temporarily in the leaves, which are then shed off. In that way, they don't have to develop structures or organs for excretion other than leaves the other organs and parts that are used to remove unwanted products in this manner include flowers fruits and bugs the bugs that are found in the stem now the substances that are stored and later re uh, re removed in this manner include tannins resins, organic salts such as calcium oxalate, and nicotine. Nicotine is a rather common waste product in many plants, though it is normally associated with the tobacco plant. Now, however, Plants still have a need to excrete their metabolic wastes and have evolved various methods to do this. Despite the foregoing reasons we have given why they do not have elaborate structures for excretion, they still have a need for excretion. Only that in comparative terms, compared to animals, their need is less, much, much less.
but nevertheless, nevertheless, they still have a need to excrete metabolic waste. And to do that, they use the following methods. One is diffusion. This involves removal of gaseous waste such as carbon dioxide and oxygen, usually through the leaves. The leaves have numerous stomata. If you look at the internal structure of the leaf, you can see the stomata, which in most plants are usually located in the lower epidermis. So gaseous carbon dioxide gets in, then oxygen, which is a waste product of photosynthesis, will be removed. Or if it is in the absence of photosynthesis, carbon dioxide, which is a waste product, is then removed through the stomata or even through the cuticle and the epidermis. So the fission is mainly for the removal of gaseous waste substances. Transpiration is also a special type of excretion in which excess water in vapor form is removed from the plant mainly through the stomata. Then there is gutation. Gutation is the removal of excess water in liquid form through specialized openings called hydathodes. So in the margins of the leaves of certain plants, there are special pores known as hydathodes through which water in liquid form oozes out. In some plants, these hydrothols are located in the stem. And such plants usually are found in habitats in which there is very high humidity, such that transpiration alone is not enough to get rid of excess water. So they, there must be other means through which the excess water, though in liquid form, is removed through this specialized opening known as hydrothods. So the liquid water may contain dissolved mineral salts. So it's not just pure water that is being removed in this manner. This water may contain mineral salts that are unwanted by the plant. A fourth method is known as exudation. And exudation is the slow release of wastes in fluid form from openings either on the epidermis or from injured parts of the stem. These liquid waste is normally thick and viscous and depending on the type of the plant they come in various names latex is produced in certain plants certain monocotyledonous plants euphorbia plant do produce latex and then you have rubber resin or gum produced from certain plants, especially through the stem. So, through exudation, latex, rubber, resin, mucilage, or even gum is released from certain plants. Now, these substances do contain waste products. They do contain unwanted material that the plant gets rid of. Then the fifth method is known as deposition. This is a process whereby waste products are converted into non-toxic forms and then stored in plant parts that are later shed off. These plant parts include leaves. So at a certain point in time, the older leaves that contain waste materials are shed from the plant. Flowers. Many plants do deposit unwanted materials in flowers that later fall off. And the bark. 
the outer part of the stem epidermis, the back, and the back do fleck off in bits. So these bits that fleck off contain unwanted materials that plants has deposited in these areas, and as they fall off, they carry with them the waste products.